Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarping, PhD in Accounting. And our topic today is the Final Benefit Pension Plan. However, we will focus today on interest and service costs. We have another video about the Final Benefit Pension Plans, and they are in our uh, video description. Okay? So, first of all, what is the Final Benefit Pension Plans? A brief review. Uh, they are the plans that promise fixed retirement benefits defined by a pension formula. For instance, 1% times uh, years of service times uh, less uh, annual salary, for instance. Uncertainty is inherent in a defined benefit plan. Rate of return of plan assets. We need a plan asset to finance the plan liability. Number of employees, age at which employee will choose to retire, life expectancies and inflation and so on. And here we have it. We need the help of an actuary that is the professional who deals with this kind of incentives to estimate the company's obligations. This is not our focus today. Our focus is only the accounting topic. And components of pension expense and overview. Components of pension expense, service costs plus interest. So our topic today, they are pension expense. They are recognized in our uh, income statement, okay? On the other hand, prior service costs and gain or losses, they are other uh, comprehensive income, okay? And we have a video about prior service costs and a video about gain and losses. They are also in our video description, okay? And so they are a, uh, other comprehensive income, so we need to amortize them, okay? But it is not our focus today. And here is our, uh, is our problem. Cristiano Ronaldo was hired by Scarpin Corporation, my fake company, at the beginning of 20, uh, 2010. Company has a defined with this formula, 1.5% times service year times final year salary. Ronaldo is expected to retire in 2049 after 40 years of service. His retirement period is expected to be 20 years. At the end of 2019, 10 years after being hired, his salary was $100,000. Interest rate, 6%. And his salary uh, projection uh, at retirement is $400,000. What is the company projected benefit obligation with respect to Cristiano Ronaldo? And we have three steps. And we have a video about how to calculate it. So we will go very, very fast here. So, oh, let's keep it here. So what do we do? Basically, he will receive money for 10 years on a yearly basis. So we need to bring this money here to a present value when his retirement starts. However, we don't want the, uh, the liability here in 2049. We want here at the end of 2019. So we need to bring it to a present value as well. Okay, so let's go to our Excel file here. This is the first scenario that we are working today. So, retirement period, 20 years. Salary today, $100,000. Interest rate, 6%. Salary at retirement, $400,000. Years of service, 40. Years to retire, 30. So what do we need to do? Considering the pension formula here, 1.5% time service years, that is 10 years, times final year salary, so $60,000. That, that are these money here, $60,000 per year. And present value of the retirement benefit as of retirement date. So here in 2049, it is 688 
and present value now at the end of 2019, 119. So this is our pension obligation. However, we want to find the pension expense. That is, one year later, 2020, this is his new pension obligation. So the total expense must be $19,000. Okay? And let's delete it here. We will find it. So how do we do that? Let's go back to our PowerPoint. Service cost. Each year service adds to the obligation to pay benefits. Cristiano Ronaldo, I, I, I'm sure you know him. And we work for one more year, so his pension formula will increase because his service years will not be 10 years anymore. It will be 11. So he will receive more money and all of the present values will increase. So this is the service cost. And the interest cost is the interest accrues on PBO balance each year. This is easy. We calculate as the assumed discount rate multiplied by the beginning balance of the projected benefit obligation or projected benefit obligation at the beginning of the year. So let's do that. And guys, by the way, I was forgetting it. Very important. Subscribe our channel. You will be the first one to know when a new video arrives. Like our Facebook page, Accounting Hub by Dr. Skirping. And this Excel file, all our Excel files, they are free to download it. And the link is in our video description. So interest costs. Beginning balance here times 6%. And here we are assuming that nothing else happens. Our patient formula remains the same. The, his life expectancy remains the same. Salary at retirement remains the same. Okay, so only one year after that. So our interest cost is 7,000, uh, $7,189.31. However, the total must be 19. So let's do that. Service cost, annual retirement benefits. How much it will be? It will be the... Oh, 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 oh. It will be here the, the 6,000. How do we do the 6,000 here? Whoops. Oh, come on. How do we do that? The 60 or the 66, does it matter? Times 1.5. Uh, oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. Ain't no retirement benefit, so that's why it doesn't matter. How much we, uh, he will be receiving uh, per year? It will be or 60, uh, 67, that is our salary at retirement times 1.5%. So this is his increasing annual retirement benefit. So because he works for one additional year, his annual retirement benefits increases in $6,000. or how we can do that? This pension formula, the total 66 at the end of 2020, less 60 at the end of 2019. So it increases in $6,000. Okay, so how much this annual retirement benefits increases? Present value of annual retirement benefits after Retirement. So let's go here. So we are talking about this one here. This increasing in six thousand dollars per year. How much is the present value at retirement? That is our step two here. Present value at retirement. So let's come here. Present value. If it is not here on your first formula, 
go to all B V B V here rate six percent. How long he will receive it? He will receive it for twenty years. How much? Six thousand dollars. And here we have this present value, uh, or all of because of this year, he his total retirement benefit will increase in sixty eight thousand dollars. However, it is sixty eight at the retirement. How much it is now? Twenty twenty. He needs only twenty nine years to be retired. So let's do it here. We are. Here, 2019, we need to come back. Not here, 2019, but here, 2020. One additional year. So we need now 29 years. So let's do it again. Present, present value. It will be here because we just use it. Rate, the same 6%. Number of period, now years to retire, 29 years. PMT, no PMT, future value, 68. So, our service cost, the total is just like our step three here. It is $12,701.11. Our total, what is our total here? Our total is interest cost. Service cost nineteen thousand, and because we have no other adjustment, no other ad adjustment either in our formula. That is the second scenario. Uh, that is the prior service cost, or on estimates, just like here, going from four hundred to four hundred and twenty. That is the gain or losses. So our total. Uh, it is the uh, it is interest cost or service cost, and it will match ending balance less beginning balance. Hey guys, so thank you so much. That's it. If you have questions or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarping at gmail.com. Have a very nice day and God bless you.